fighting for this fight forever. And I've been fighting guy even with one knee, with injury. And now, why do I be scared of them? Why I feel even more confident? No, I'm not scared. The only thing that I'm scared of is to be trapped. It's not to lose my freedom, which I value very much. What's up, guys? It's Showtime Platform. I'm your boy, Josh Showtime. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Follow me on social media, at Papa Showtime, Josh Showtime. And don't have whichever one you find me at. Uh, and, and today's conversation is actually a very, like, weird one. I'm, I'm, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little confused. I don't know how I 100% feel about it yet. And that is the news about Francis Nagano. Francis? Nagano, who I told you guys is the scariest human being has, that ever stepped foot in the UFC, who had all-time great talent on his way of honestly becoming the greatest heavyweight that's ever existed in, in MMA, is now a free agent. He got cut. And by his request. Now, I have a lot of thoughts that's going through my head. People are saying, like, where is he going to go? Go to PFL, Bellator, this, that, and third. And here's where I'm thinking when it comes to Francis. Uh, and, and also, let me first quote Dana White. Dana White said that he offered them, him a record-breaking deal that would have made him the highest paid ever at the heavyweight division. Now, we don't know how much that really is. I, we don't know. We can't, I ain't gonna speculate numbers, all right? Like, they just said John Jones signed the eight-figure deal. So, at the end of the day, I'm assuming it's around the eight figures. But that wasn't enough for him. Now, this makes me think of, one, it wasn't just about the money. Two, is it he want more flexibility? He didn't want to be controlled by the UFC? Or three, the, bur the bridge was already burnt and he already had pre-deposition and the predetermined man, um, my man, predetermined mind of what he was going to do of, of after his contract was up or if they was going to offer him a new deal, which comes off to me as uh, more so the latter. I really, 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 really don't know what he plans on doing. I, I, if I had to speculate, I would say that he's going to go with a Bellator who can pay him more and give him the flexibility because we already know Bellator does crossovers all the time. They don't care. Bellator could possibly still pay him the eight figures that he's asking and they would probably lose a lot of freaking money if they did that. But he could still challenge Tyson Fury for a championship or just a fight in general. Now, if he's not even for the belt. I can see him genuinely wanting to fight Tyson Fury in the future. And we already know Tyson Fury has a fight that's possibly coming up. Um, and that's the, the unification bout with uh, Usyk, uh, Usyk. And that, if, if he wins, I can 100% see him challenging. Even if Usyk wins, I can see him saying, oh, I can still beat him. I'm bigger than him, this, that, and the third. And I'm telling you right now, if that fight happens, France is going to get obliterated. He might get paid more than he ever got paid in his whole entire life. Bye. However, he's going to get the beating of a lifetime if he ever fights for, uh, Tyson Fury in the boxing match. Like, it, it's not even going to be close. You will get a blur. Um, I do support it, obviously. Like, I love the free agent move that people are trying to do. Like, he might have saw Corey Anderson and was like, hey, Corey Anderson moved to 205. And, I mean, moved to 205. He moved to Bellator. And now he's living his best life, even though he just lost. But he was literally finishing everybody. But I'm way better than him. Well, imagine what I would do to these heavyweights in freaking Bellator or PFL especially PFL, and make a million dollars, millions of dollars, and take an easier road. I do think that that also came into mind. Instead of taking, fighting these dogs, I got to fight Stipe for the third time. Then I got to fight John Jones. Then I got to fight God, who honestly almost beat me. Like, yeah, like, I, can, I can do that. Now, I'm not saying that Francis is ducking from Rex. I've said this before. He's the scariest human being. So I don't think that he's ducking the wreck, but I do think that he's thinking more so financially for his future uh, and, and love the flexibility of not having to be all time by the UFC. And like I said, I respect it. Now, the next thing we got to talk about, though, is the fight that's happening because he's gone. And that is Cyril Gaw versus John Jones. I've, I've said this before, which is John Jones' toughest fight at heavyweight will be Cyril Gaw. And that's not, in my opinion, not close. Yes, he can get flatlined by Francis in any second of the day. In any second of the day. However, most of the portions of that fight, I expect John Jones to win that fight until possibly Francis lands. Stipe is a tough fight for him as well. However, I still honestly was still pushed toward John Jones winning. But you got a long drought. It's been, what, three years since John Jones has fought. He's fighting a fight guy that's been active, who's bigger, who's naturally bigger, who's probably quicker, who has better footwork, 
I, it, it's a tough matchup for Gump. And I'm telling you now, he does happen to win this fight. I mean, I don't know how anybody can say the GOAT claim for anybody else but John Jones. Frank, I'm not Francis, but Cyril Gunn is in his prime. The only thing, and people want to say, oh, well, he has a major weakness, his takedown defense. John Jones' takedowns have been terrible for the longest. I, I can't even remember. Maybe, maybe the OSP fight where his takedowns were really relevant, but his takedown game has been terrible. He couldn't even take down Dominic Reyes. So, I mean, and that's not to say, oh, well, Dominic Reyes is better takedown defense. Okay, cool. But you're going against a bigger guy, and he is athletic enough to develop better takedown defense. So, I mean, it, it's going to be a tough, it's a tough freaking match. I cannot wait to see it. I can't wait to break it down. Uh, it's, it will get the return of John Jones. Hopefully, you know, we don't get no force here because it is John Jones. And, you know, a lawsuit, a failed test. Uh, him going to jail can happen in the second of the day. But I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm happy with where the UFC is going, even though Francis is gone. But I think I'm happy for Francis because he's living the life that he wants to live, and I hope he doesn't regret it. Uh, but I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Is, this, is the UFC going to regret this? Do you think Francis is going to regret this? But as always, it's the Showtime's Fight Forum. Make sure you stay blessed, everyone.